This is a simple animation of fluidization, starting at a concentration C and then following the height of the solids, which will end up at a height C divided by 2, so long as the final height of the fluidized bed is twice the original one. On the left-hand side, the liquid is being recirculated round. That's what the down arrow is trying to represent. So that it recirculates down to the distributor plate at the bottom, the yellow and red plate. And the liquid is dragging the particles up. And there's a constitutive equation there for velocity and porosity of the fluidized bed. And this is the rig that's used experimentally. We can see a rotameter in the middle there with a large red arrow on it. It goes up to 5 litres per minute. And water in this rig flows up through the rotameter, through the copper pipe at the top, is uh, circulated by a pipe behind the board to the bottom of the, uh, the vessel containing the fluidized bed, which is in fact now is a, a packed bed with the dock on top. And if we zoom in, you can just about make out the connection there, taking the liquid in at the bottom. And you can see there's a, a static bed of solids there between 8 and 9 centimetres in height, just less than 9 centimetres. And there's a duck. It's sitting in water. There's, there's water everywhere inside that rig. And uh, as we increase the flow rate going up through the pack bed, it just starts to fluidize. The, the duck's now beginning to float. The duck will carry on floating on the surface of the of the beads as they're fluidized and the water that's used to fluidize the beads goes past the past the duck through the rest of the vessel and then into a tank which is behind the board where it gets recirculated round and round. So we have the fluidized bed now has just increased in height a little to just over nine centimeters and if you watch carefully you should be able to see the fluidized bed continually getting slightly higher and higher as we slightly increase the flow rate of water going upwards through the bed. You'll see it's a very sharp interface between the top of the bed of solids, the fluidized bed of solids, and the water on which the duct's floating. And that's what the rig looks like again, um, the, full, the full view there. And at the moment we have about one litre per minute flow rate. And you can see the duck is moving around quite significantly. So we have a, a very fluidized uh, bed there, definitely not a, a packed bed or a static bed. And that's showing you the one litre per minute um, marker. We've now increased the flow to about two litres per minute. And you can see the duck is again moving around and the bed height is significantly increased now, as we'd expect from that simple animation that was shown at the start. The, the bed height is getting higher and higher. We're not carrying over any of the solids from the fluidized bed. They're, they're staying inside the bed. And uh, we're expanding, expanding the bed a little bit more now. We're up to uh, just over three liters a minute by the look of it and the, the bed height has increased some more. Again, the duck's still quite happy floating on top of the surface of the fluidized uh, particles there, making up the bed. And that's just marking out the rotameter position. And now moving up to about four liters a minute, and you'll just begin to see that the interface between the fluidized bed and the water at which the, the duck sits at, is just beginning to get a little bit more diffuse. Some of the particles are beginning to get carried up a little bit. And now we've moved up to five liters a minute. You can see that that, that interface is now pretty diffuse. It's still there though. We're still not carrying any particles over, but it's just getting a little bit more and more diffuse. And in fact, the duck is beginning to sink a little bit down inside the fluidized bed. The duck has a density which is lower than the mean density of the fluidized bed, but it's getting closer and closer. And just increasing the liquid flow rate a little bit more, you can see now it's just the duck's head that's outside of the fluidized bed. The rest of uh, his body is inside the fluidized bed, so he's just about at neutral buoyancy. And if we could expand the bed a little bit more, 
that duck would have sunk inside the uh, bed of particles. And now reducing the flow rate again, and you can see the bed is beginning to settle down again, and the duck will slowly float again on top of the fluidized bed when it reaches stability. So it's a very reproducible process. A uh, very slight hysteresis with some material, but not, not with this material. It's very reproducible. It should give the same height of bed with the uh, flow rate going up or flow rate coming down. And now we have a very gentle fluidized bed. We're back to about one litre per minute. And there's a very sharp interface again. And it's still fluidized. The duct's still moving around, but only just at that one litre per minute. And very soon we'll, we'll take the flow rate down to very low value and we're now a packed bed again. So we've, we've got a little bit of fluid flowing, but it's only through the packed bed. It's not a fluidized bed. The duct's completely static.